Thanks, Tatum. Anyone who's owned a business knows that Endeavor can be a big risk. And the same can be said for the owners of Tall City Brewing Company. It had been open less than six months when the pandemic broke out. They took a risk and pared everything down to curbside. Oh, okay. I just thought it was coming from Brewed up and ready for your business. That was Tall City's mission when COVID-19 forced the closure of bars and restaurants in March. If I said there wasn't a little bit of doubt, I'd be lying. We just didn't, we had no idea uh, what was going to happen and how people were going to react to, you know, specifically curbside growlers. Um, this whole thing is just, you know, it's, it's an unknown for everybody. Thomas and his team stepped out on faith that the business would come though it didn't come without its challenges. The first day was chaotic. We didn't know what the heck we were doing. Um, and so we realized we need to do some sort of drive through. And so we became more efficient doing that and people caught on. They were on to something. Curbside service without the need for a lot of manpower proved to be the right combination to keep their doors open. For us, it's easy. We can have low overhead. It's just a couple people it takes to serve growlers out. Um, we're not doing food at all, so it's just beer. Um, that's helped. Our location has helped. Um, the fact that we're one of the only ones here, uh, breweries, has helped. They haven't been entirely immune. Like other breweries, Tall City has felt the pinch in other areas. It's dropped, but it's nothing. I mean, you know, we're covering expenses, and that's all you want to do right now, just to stay open. We know this isn't permanent. It's temporary. Now, Jeff credits local support for keeping their business going strong these last two months. But like everyone else, though, he can't wait until the day that they can reopen their doors for business to all customers. Reporting in Midland, Jonathan Palasik, News West 9.